is up MF or Super Jack for today's video doing something totally different getting back to my roots as I like to say which is always a good time just got off the phone with old Mr. Porn Stash and he's like yo dude let's try to catch some giant stuff tomorrow I was like cool I like to catch giant stuff let's do that it's like what are we gonna have to catch him on he's like dude we need you to go catch some bait so we're gonna go catch some damn bait in today's video but the bait's probably gonna be a little bit bigger than what you're thinking now first stop we gotta go to the local walmart to try to go buy some bait to go catch some bait but it's gonna be really cheap i think actually going to be doing some spillway slash creek fishing bouncing around uh to catch fish in a way that i used growing up that anyone can go out and do one of my favorite ways to go out and catch some fish so i'm gonna go to the walmart so i'm gonna pick a couple things up i think it's gonna be really really cheap i would assume the large majority of you can afford this on your budget and then we're going to head to the creek and uh, catch some damn slaunch we're hunting slaunches if you didn't notice the shirt right here on the way to the local walmart right now hopefully getting all my supplies for under five dollars and i'll catch you guys at the spillway all right done at the walmart just got to the local uh, spilling way situation if there's a spillway there's actually no one here badass just gotta jump a little fence Whew. Man, I'm agile. I didn't know how pertinent me uh, going to Walmart and getting $4 worth of stuff. We, I did get out of there with, for under $5. Um, how exciting that would be to film, so I, I didn't film that. But I'm gonna get posted up by the, by the creek right here. I'll show you what exactly I got and what we're using for bait. All right, so the bait of choice I just got to Walmart is this guy right here, the old kernels of corn. This is what we used growing up fishing creeks. Actually, this exact creek right here, Fish with my dad, fish with my buddies. I used to go down in the summer, like every day I'd go down to the creek. And that's a lot of my foundation for fishing is just getting out as much as possible, using stuff like corn, night crawlers that we dug up out of the garden, stuff like that for bait. And so that's what we're using. To rig that up, I got some little swivels, size four bait holder hooks, and of course, the old weights. I think the total was like $4.68, so a super cheap way to get out and catch some fish. This is a good way to get kids into fishing too, because what we're going after today is the North American carphead. Yes, that, that's right. We're going to catch some carp to use for bait tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what we're using them for bait for. I'm not sure if we're using whole ones, we're cutting them up, um, or what we're doing, but we need to catch a carp. Now, I brought two rods right here. Both are spinning rods. I'm going to show you how I rigged those up um, to catch carp, how I grew up fishing with them. Okay guys, time to show you the se super secret carp snatching rig contraption. Of course, we're gonna use kernel corn. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, this is how I rigged it growing up. I know there's a lot of experts out there on YouTube that'll tell you I'm doing it wrong. This is how we did it. We caught a shitload of carp, whether we wanted to or not. So we got this slip sinker right here, which isn't pegged down in any way. You want it free moving. I'll tell you why in just a second. Then we got our swivel guy right there. This is 12 pound fluorocarbon line on this one. I actually did straight braid on the other one. Um, and then I got a leader right here, about 12 to 14 inches worth of leader. And then this little bait holder hook. Now you want this to be unpegged and free moving because when a carp or whatever else you could catch catfish or hell i don't even know what the hell else is in here when they pick up this hook and they're pulling on it it's totally free so they're not going to feel the weight of the weight ha and therefore they're going to hold on a little bit longer but yeah we got two rods with us here i'm going to uh, pop open the old corn man this seriously like this brings me back to my roots did this growing up give them a little drain action and then it's also good to uh to chum the area a little bit get the carps all turn up basically we're gonna get as many of these uh, big chunky meaty pieces of corn on the hook as possible i know guys like to use a needle and a little dropper rig and they they thread the corn on down below uh, i'm sure that probably works better but i'm i'm a redneck and, and i've never used a rig like that like the europeans do that are probably way better at catching carp than i am i hope but that's my old uh, inbred rig right there that i learned growing up we're gonna throw about a handful of corn out there in just a second pa pow we're ready to freaking go come on cups come meet my corn all right pretty deep out there probably a solid foot foot and a half but i do see some carp splashing around in this area so we're gonna create some type of a makeshift pole holder leave this guy with a little bit of slack in the line so when a carp takes off with it he can eat it without feeling the the weight of the rod or anything carp fishing 101 i don't know if this is gonna work all right rig number two we're gonna put this guy a little bit closer to the bank Whee. now we do a little bit of chumming Coming in hot, carps. Pow! Carp snatching time. Porn stash says we only need one for bait, which is true. Plus we want to use like one live and one cut or something like that. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself. If we would catch more than one, um, we might already have a bite actually. Oh yeah, we definitely have a bite. 
Okay, I've, I've casted that out about 30 seconds ago and I already got a carp snatching it. Carp just jumped up there. We got one snatch in the rod. We're off to a, good, a hot start. Oh, okay. We already got one. Drag is way too freaking tight. Oh my God, that is a perfect size carp too. Perfect bait size. Don't, don't get off you dickhead. You bet. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Didn't even see him eat. I'm pretty sure he just like jumped out and touched it. But um, there we go. The the common carp species. I went to move my rod and there was a carp already on it. This is uh, going to be pretty successful. Well, that was easy. You guys were giving me shit in that video when I was snagging. I'm going after my holy balls. I got another bite right here. Anyways, you're giving me a hard time because I was snagging those guys because they're so thick in here when I was going after the elusive. When I was trying to catch a walleye in this creek, which by the way, my buddy caught a big walleye in here. So for all you guys that thought I was just out here trying to snag freaking carp for fun, stupid, not true. There are in fact big walleye in and around this little area. My freaking pole's jumping like crazy. I might have another carp on already, guys. Definitely don't feel like I need to take more than two carp with me, but um, two of those little guys like that are gonna make like absolutely perfect bait so uh all right let's check this pole i see my line jumping around that last one i didn't even know he had it nope nope just dicking with it a lot of dicking going on down there this honestly seemed kind of lame in my head coming out here to do this because like carp are not a desired species around here i know in europe like like i was saying earlier people fish for them and had tournaments for them super serious stuff but this is seriously like so good to get back and do stuff like this once in a while i think it's a good little refresher from going out beating my head in trying to catch these stupid bass that don't want to cooperate 97 percent of the time all right camera was off because i'm an idiot but uh this guy tried to rip the damn rod out of my hand this one's a little more feisty. Oh yeah. This is another great bait size carps. This is gonna be culprit number two. We're not keeping any more than these two, but honestly, you bet. I'm having a freaking blast, guys. Another carp guy. And I'm glad I brought pliers because he ate that. These are like money size two for using hole actually this might seem giant for using hole sick i don't care what anybody says these carp are extremely tough to catch you have to cast it out there and then you have to watch your pole it's not freaking easy guys that's like the fire spot up there we're gonna get back up there i'm definitely gonna have to take max to come do this at some point because he wants to catch giant shit constantly he loves the micro fishing stuff for bluegills and I mean how could you not it's non-stop action you get to watch the fish eat it right in front of you but he wants to catch some big stuff and so we need to bring him to do this you guys let me know if you want to see Max and pull him back on a big old slunchy nasty carpasaur we got some dicking going on someone's dicking with old Mr. Bank guy up here and the funny thing is I haven't even gone up to where the water's pouring in yet I could probably catch one every seven seconds up there I'm being a lot more sporting I'm only catching one about every minute and a half down here here we go I literally have bites on both rods right now. I'm just waiting for which rod's gonna go. Mm -hmm. I think we got one here. Got him. Yep. Come here, sucker. Literally, he's kind of like a sucker. We got a better one? Nope. These are fun ones. They're not giant, but they fight good. Spinning tackle, love it. I cannot freaking wait to use these guys for bait tomorrow. You guys will have to comment down below right now what you think we're going to try to catch with guys this freaking big. I'm actually not going to keep this dude. I'm going to throw him back since we already got two for bait. Well, fun time. Seriously, guys, please let me know down below if you want to see more like carp fishing and cat fishing and stuff like this because this is actually fun and like super easy. I love it. Oh, we definitely got some dicking going on. One certainly is dicking. Oh God, we got double dicking action going. Both rods have 
little ding 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 sorry that was weird usually with these carp and these creeks like this i know this from growing up doing it when you get a bite and one that actually really takes it and eats it your line will be kind of like semi slack with bow in it it's just going to go completely slack instantly and they're usually just going to be drifting downstream with it in their mouth or just drifting down a little bit towards you once in a while you will get one that uh, that takes off the other direction with it but it seems like they just pick it up off the bottom suck it in because they are bottom feeders oh god about lost the old rod i'm not sure if he's on there still but that was sick you there buddy nope he just freaking took off with it i'm not sure how he took out of this super sturdy pole holder of sitting it on top of my backpack must have been a giant okay god i want to catch another one i think we got one do you got it this time dickhead or not yep you bet that's the one by the one i mean it's just another one just like the rest of them but it's definitely the one. Oh god what do we got here yes yes look at what we got guys <laughs> what you know about that a freaking walleye <laughs> we got a walleye on corn that is fantastic pretty sick too that's a good eater size walleye i'm gonna throw them back but look at that corn walter on corn that's freaking awesome let's get him back in <laughs> not what we're going for expecting but <laughs> so much fun all right that was seriously freaking badass i can't believe i actually caught a freaking walleye on corn how do you throw one damn blade baits jerk baits everything else in the past to catch them and apparently i just need to throw a little bit of corn on the hook i did indeed forget to bring a bucket so i got my two little carps right here for tomorrow in this bag super freaking jacked to use these guys for bait tomorrow you guys will have to let me know what you think we'll be uh trying to catch with these guys chopped up or whole as bait I need you guys to tell me if you want to see more videos like this one go drop a comment down below and if you want to see more cart fishing more cat fishing more live bait whatever corn i don't know corn's not live bait more bait fishing uh, please go subscribe that lets me know that you guys want to see more of that but tune in for tomorrow's video we're going to go use those guys for bait as you can imagine if we're using those for bait we're probably not going to be fishing for small things and you'd be correct by that but thanks so much for watching this video guys i will catch you very soon i'm, out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine